Okay then guys and welcome back to Monster Hunter Tri. Now what I'm going to do here is show you a few of the, um, well I'm going to show you around the village basically. This is your hub and this is where you start off in the single player mode. Now basically what you've got is um, this little dude here, he's your, he's your armourer. And basically one of the things with Monster Hunter is that you need to basically keep on making better weapons to take down the big sod off monsters that you fight. So you've got an option of either creating brand new weapons or upgrading the weapons you already own and you can do the same for armour. So obviously now if we was to look, basically this here shows you what you need to um, create the weapon in the bottom left hand corner. So to make this, um, to make an arm sword you need three pieces of iron ore and I've got ten at the moment. To make a bone blade you need two monster bones which are small. There's a whole range of different weapons you can make as you can see here and then um, basically once you've made your weapon you can upgrade them and again basically you can keep on upgrading weapons but you do need the right um, material and obviously basically the better the weapon you're going to need far better material to make him which means killing huge monsters so there's your weapons and your armour Alternatively, if you don't want to bother with all the killing monsters, getting their bits, making new armour, you can simply go and check out this dude and she'll basically sell you anything you need. Um, she won't have quite as good stuff that can be made, but you know, if you've got the spare cash then this is a way to do it. And a nice touch with this is that you can use Zennies, which is like a well-known Capcom currency from the early 80s. Okay then, so this guy here this is the um, chieftain's son, and this dude, he gives you um, a bit of handy information ranging from what the weather's like, the monsters you can expect to find should you go out. So tomorrow there's a royal ludra hanging around, and the day after that. He also tells you basically what items you can pick up and what they're worth. And as you can see, in the, um, you might be able to see on the video, but in the top right hand corner, that's the um that's my points. Basically you can go out onto the village and do a bit of hunting and every time you kill a monster outside in the wilds, you'll um you get a certain amount of resource points. You can then use those resource points here. And um again you'll be given quests and if you've got the relevant bits and bobs, you can then basically use those quests, you, um complete the quests and then you can go to the village. Um sorry the farm. Now when you're in the farm, you've got all these cool little cats who slowly come back and you're able to grow stuff. So you can grow mushrooms, you can um, breed insects, you can breed herbs. And again, it's another way of basically getting your resources up. It's also possible to um, go to the Moga Woods and basically any of the big monsters that you've um, slain will appear there eventually. So again, you can just be hunting around, minding your own business and all of a sudden there's a big, huge, sod off giant jaggy, which you have to take down. So this is a handy part, and again, basically the best way to get items is to keep on, keep on growing stuff. And using those resources to build better items. Another source you've got is this, um, this woman here. Basically what she does is she's in charge of the fishermen. And again, you can send the fishermen out to certain locations, as we'll um, see here. And basically you can tell, ask them where to go. And at the moment they're both out fishing. And um, eventually they'll come back and they'll give you loads of cool goods. Again, this costs resource points, but it's worth doing. Down here, this is basically where you can buy equipment. and sell equipment. So again, as you can see, there's lots of different things. And you've got everything from basically food, oh, there's one of my girls, to anything else. Okay, don't be annoying. Oh, well done, you've moved it. Look, get off there, you plum. You've moved the camera. That wasn't clever, was it? Right, now this place here, a big, huge boat normally comes here. Now he's actually off on a voyage at the moment. So he'll be back, he'll be back very soon. And again, basically you'll be able to trade cool rare stuff which you wouldn't otherwise get. Now the most important place you need to go to, aside from this cool little cat here, who basically fixes up 
grub for you is this girl. And what she does is um, she'll give you quests, kind of like in Fantasy Star Online. And as you can see, you've got a variety of quests. Some of them require you to basically get stuff. Some of them require you to hunt stuff, and some of them require you to um, basically track monsters. And obviously, the, the more stars there are, the harder the tasks. This is obviously the one I was stuck on the other day. But um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you a slightly easier one, which I've now basically managed to um, suss. And um, we'll go to that in a moment. But um, that's it for your moment. This is basically the um, village where you start off. There is obviously an online section which I'll um, allow you to discover for yourself. Oh, actually, before I forget, there's one more place I need to show you. So let's go in here. Now this is your home. And this chest here, this is really handy. Every time you kill something, every time you basically skin it and you basically pick up items, you can store them in here. Now one of the great things you can do is you can combine stuff. And basically all of these ones which are currently highlighted can be combined with other stuff. So for example, if we take this blue mushroom and we combine it with this herb, it will create a potion. And then if you take that potion, and let's see if we've got any. So if we take the potion and combine it with, unfortunately, what I haven't got, which is, oh yeah, there we go, look. If we take this honey and combine it with the potion, we'll create a mega potion, which is basically even stronger. So again, as you can see, just from looking at that box from all the different stuff I've picked up, there's a huge potential for creating new stuff and experimentation is the key. So that's basically the basis to Monster Hunting. It's all about using your resources. It's all about going out into the wilds and getting more resources and building bigger and better weapons. So um, what I'll do now is I'll upload this and then I'll have a hunt for you. Come back soon for more Monster Hunter goodness. Bye. Bye.